Well guys, we are out here on what can only be described as a very eerie morning. I'm 100% surrounded by fog. I can't see where we're going, so we're only going walking pace. And uh, we're out here today trying to get a massive barra. And uh, today might be the last episode for a while. So uh, I'll let you know at the end of the episode why that is. Um, got some news and uh, yeah stay tuned for that but uh, while we're out here the uh, the plan is waddle our way through this fog without hitting a tree because there are plenty out here and uh, although it's still the cooler months uh, we've had a hot couple of days of wind and we are going to see if it's fired the impoundment barrel up so i've got some different lures to throw at them this time something a bit out of the box i'm going to try i'll show you when i rig up and we're going to see whether it gets a reaction bite and if it does well then there's something for you guys out there to try this impoundment season so uh yeah i'm going to waddle my way through this fog try not to hit anything and uh we'll see if we can find some barrel so I'm just scanning the banks along here. I've got a, a zone I've wanted to have a look at for a while, but um, I've only ever brought the little tinny up here. So I've loaded the scout up today, taken the tea top off, and uh, we're barra fishing out of the big boat for a change. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just hitting side scan at the moment, walking along the bank with the boat, just idling slow, nice and quiet, not making any loud noise, because uh, this time of year the barra really to any sort of loud noise and seeing if I can find some fish so when I do I'll show you on the sounder and hopefully you guys can see what I'm looking at when I find a barrack and it might help you guys out so see what we can find along here want to find some I'll show you what they look like okay guys so there one two three four five barra very very prominent there you can see them what we're looking for. Big boys. Well, here we are. We've uh, parked up on those fish. I'm going to give it a crack. They're kind of over at this point area here. So, first cast. See if we can get it dialed in. So, all I'm doing is just slow, slow, slow rolling. bait behind us here. And basically yeah it's just casting a tree fan out. See if we can find these fish, get one to bite. We've been casting for the best part of about two hours. Not a single knock yet. We're pretty much in the middle of the bite window this morning, so I'm hoping something happens soon. Otherwise I'll be a bit disheartened. <laughs> Tried a few different lure setups, and um, yeah, like I said, so far nothing, but I reckon it will happen. There's a lot of fish coming through this little bay. So, I reckon if I just keep persisting, it'll happen. Unfortunately, that's uh, the game out here. It's uh, a numbers game. The number of casts you put in is the chance of a fish to keep having breaks and sitting down and changing and giving up. It's going to be a long day with not much success, so you just got to keep casting no matter what. Ooh, little fish just came up to the surface there. And uh, yeah, just hope your lure comes across the nose of a fish that wants a feed. It's only a matter of time, it'll happen. Oh, I just got a solid, solid whack. Oh, that's two missed opportunities now. 
must have been just to get out of my face kind of hit because uh, he didn't eat it, eat it, and didn't hook up. So. But that's alright, that means if I keep pestering them enough, maybe they'll just whack it out of aggression and we'll catch one of our fish that way. Oof. Tell you what, it's uh, pretty exciting when uh, you get a bump because, I don't know, there's something just about Barra, the shock that just goes through the rod when they hit. You can feel that implosion eat and it's just, oh, gets the heart racing. No matter how big or how small the Barra is, they all seem to hit so hard. Just, uh, yeah. Something you get very addicted to, I think. Oh, I do, anyway. <laughs> so, that's one pulled hooks on a fish and one, oh, one eight so far. So, if we can convert the third fish, I will be super happy. Because everything that's going past on the sounder is of considerable size. So the two that we would have come across would definitely be like minimum 80 centimetre fish. So we're looking good. We're looking good to get our big dog today. PB out of here is a metre 15. If you haven't seen that, I'll drop a clip in now of it. Oh, as I was burning it. Oh, did you see that? I was legit burning it in. <laughs> to change spots of cast out here because I saw three or four others. Oh, he's a solid one. <laughs> he's bigger. He's bigger. Yep, very much bigger. Oh, he's he's, he's he's dollar ten. He's, he's got to be dollar ten. He's very Jesus. Oh man, that thing is. Oh, that's heaps bigger. <laughs> that's very large. Dollar fifteen of Mondi Giant. That's my PB here. Probably the biggest one you've seen too, eh? Yeah. That's solid. Solid Jundi. Look at the tail. <laughs> <laughs> That's so oh. cool, man. Okay. Send it home. I'm going to spear him because he's still there. Oh. Oh. And oh, see ya. He's out of there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a full episode on that. Same thing, afternoon, windy afternoon, and the bite just absolutely turned it on. So I'm kind of hoping today is similar. So we fished all morning for no bueno and then when that afternoon wind kicked in it was on like Donkey Kong. So I didn't have to uh, I didn't have to sound for too long to find a ridiculous amount of fish this morning which is good so I haven't spent all morning running around a massive body of water just trying to find fish. I've found them straight up, which is good. And I've got a hit and missed a fish, which is good in my book. Some might not see it as good. I see it as very promising, especially when you're impoundment fishing. Because <laughs> sometimes you can cast all day for absolutely not a sniff. So the fact that we're getting stuff to come up and have a crack at it means we're doing something right so i'll keep persisting see if i can get one before this afternoon just to get something on the board and then uh yeah that afternoon bite window with that wind hopefully we should fire them up whoa i just got absolutely slammed again ripped the rear hook clean out look at that Oh, they're really um, aggressive kind of 
get out of my face bites because we are well outside any form of bite window at the moment and that's a bit chafed up I might just trim that off because um, if it is frayed they can see it better in the water than if it's not it kind of gives this white tinge to your leader so I'll trim that off quickly and retie basically all I'm doing now is finding fish on the sounder and annoying the crap out of them if I can keep rolling it in front of their face I should get the reaction hit like we just did then and um, hopefully We'll eventually hook one. So that's three hits now. One hook up. So they're not hungry, but they're angry, which is good. It's better than being not angry and just swimming around my lure, I guess. So yeah, we'll keep casting. Oh, the lure's twisted. Got these new hooks that are super sharp and sticky, so every time I cast, they actually stick into the plastic. But even though they're super sharp and sticky, they're not getting <laughs> they're not getting these fish. So I don't know. I think they're just really nipping at the tail, like just a bugger off kind of warning, boof under the water. So maybe one will get angry enough to actually swallow it a little bit. It's not a big fish, but it's a fish. Yes. Very good, very good. One barra in the boat. Oh, what a relief. Miss so many. Not a bad little fish, he'd definitely be in that 80 centimetre range, that fella. Definitely, definitely in that 80 centimetre range. That. And he's hooked just on the outside of the face, so what they do is they just go boof and try and scare it out of their face because they get annoyed with it. But that's cool. It's a good little fish. I'll quickly hold this guy up for the camera, get him back, and yeah off the donut so good here he is guys <laughs> look at that that's a nice nice healthy little barra he's definitely in the 80s and um very thick little fish so as i said he's just pinned on the outside of the face there doing that uh kind of get out of my face buff at the lure instead of actually eating it so he didn't get it down but um because I told you we're running those super sharp sticky hooks they managed to pin him just on the outside of her face so super happy with that off the donut and that's a great little fish to start off with we've missed some bigger bigger fish by a long way so I'm hoping this afternoon's going to turn it on but for now we're off the donut super happy with that and uh, we'll keep casting see what we can get into so I'll let this fella go Oh. Very, very dark little fish. Out of there. Yeah, buddy. Let's get another one. He made an absolute mess of that. So basically, this is just kind of a harness rig thing. Um, you can make your own quite easily. You can buy all the com ow, components off our eBay in regards to the little hook keepers and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I just bought a shop bought one from Tackle World because I uh, didn't have much time to muck around. So I just popped in and grabbed one quickly and a few bits and bobs. And I've actually got a chin weight on it as well. So there's a chin weight on that. Um, just to because they are quite light but regardless still swims like a champion so get a little bit of scent back on the tail and get it back down there get another one bit of bait flicking on the surface there 
Okay, this is first cast after that fish. All I'm doing is throwing out and just really slow roll back as slow as you can. Um, obviously because they're not fired up because uh, there's no bite window. I'm trying to keep it in their face for as long as I can so they do <laughs> crack the shits with it and do exactly what that little fish did which was just get angry and kind of buff it to get it out of its face because these fish are very lazy they'll just sit in one area they don't want to move around too far when they're not feeding so they like their little zones that they pick and if things come in their face while they're in their zone they don't normally like it too much so it's a good little trick to get bites when the fish aren't meant to be biting all right, full of crap. I just caught a fish, had a couple of hits as well, so it's obviously working, the technique. So give it a try, guys. You'd surprise yourself. For now, we're just going to keep rolling this in this area because there's fish kind of all moving around through here. And uh, yeah. I can find a spot that's holding more than the others so I'll focus on that area but for now there's kind of sporadic fish everywhere so we'll just keep rolling it in front of whatever we can see and see if we can get our nib oh. might be a bit of fish this one. Oh, he hit that he hit that hasn't jumped at all just absolutely slammed it Ooh, where is he oh, roughly that same size a little bit bigger maybe Oh, full of beans, that's for sure. Wow. Oh, that's two in the space of like four or five minutes. So, that is a very good. Thing. Same thing on the outside of the face. Oh, not ready yet. Here he comes. Come back. Oh. <laughs> he is angry. Yes, 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 yes. It's another one in the net, guys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, epic little fish. Oh, how good. It's coming together, coming together. Outside of the face again, the hook's just got him in the gill plate. So good. Fat little one, that's a bit bigger again, so that's good. Upgrades, always welcome. And get this guy out and quickly show you, and yeah, keep casting. You're onto a hot little body. Okay, oh, in you come, buddy. Oh, of course. Uh, brought the mega net in hopes that we'll get a mega barra so I reckon this afternoon it'll happen so yeah if you see that that hook's pinned him right in the snoz so he hasn't actually eaten it he's just gone up and gone boof and the real sharp hooks just pinned him right in the nose so that's perfect so they're not feeding as such but there must be enough of them down there that <laughs> They're getting angry at my lure keep going in their face. So. Okay guys, well that's barra number two. <laughs> He's a bit bigger. He's probably uh, high 80s this fella. So uh, we're getting bigger. That breeze has just kicked in and um, that is a stud little fish. 
especially for, uh, yeah, considering they're not even meant to be biting. We're getting her done. So that's two in five minutes. I'm going to quickly put this guy back and uh, we'll keep going. So the aim is meter or bigger today. I reckon it's going to happen this hour. Breeze has just kicked in, so we'll get this guy back and uh, keep ticking them off. Okay. Sparrow number two. Oh, good little fish. Out of there. Okay, it's number two, bigger. Next one in the 90s, I reckon. Let's get her done. Okay. I just snipped a little bit more off the leader. It was a bit scuffed. A little bit more scent on the tail. Not that it's enticing a bite, but whatever works, works. And that's what's working at the moment. So we're going to stick with it. That was a pretty cool fish. I kind of hooked him here and he took off towards the bank, but um, yeah, realized he couldn't keep going because there was no water left. So <laughs> that, was, that was pretty funny. He just kind of stopped dead in his tracks, realized what was happening and changed direction. Oh, we're on again, guys, and it's a good fish this time. It's a good fish. Oh. That's a proper one. That's a proper one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh. Oh. Yes. Man, did he smack that. Oh, just kind of been moving around here, there and everywhere. And uh, yeah, legit just came, oh, just came into this zone and smack straight up. Oh, he's a solid fish, this one. Definitely in the 90s. Definitely in the 90s. Oh no, he's got me hung up on something. Oh, you're kidding. You are kidding. Oh, oh no. Oh, he's out, he's out. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, there must be a log down there. Oh, I don't want to go too hard because I've dropped my leader to get the bite. I'm only running 50 pound. Uh, tight drag to set the hooks and then after that I back off just so he doesn't rub me off because the harder you go on them the quicker they do wear through the leader oh, stay away from the back of the boat buddy oh he's a solid fish oh might even be in the metre range might be a metre fish not quite ready. Come, buddy. Come on. In you come. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you. Dude. That is a stud. <laughs> He's got to be close to a metre, if not a metre, for sure, so... Oh, how yeah, good. Arvo's going to turn it on, I reckon. We'll get the hooks out, get him in the boat. Get out, okay. oh. Let's get you in. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a proper one. That is a proper, proper fire right there. Two in the jaw, so he definitely, oh, definitely ate it. Okay, get him out of the net. 
Uh, run a quick measure on him. He will be about 90, 94, 95, that fella. Going off that net. So. That's sick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh. We're getting bigger. That's a 95 ish centimetre barra. That's a proper one. First for the afternoon sesh. <laughs> Look at that caudal, eh? The tails on these things are massive. Big stonking head on him. Oh, that thing's just huge. Beautiful big fish. Very, very weighty, very healthy. <laughs> but awesome, absolutely awesome. Okay, we'll quickly get this guy back and uh, make the most of this bite window coming up. Oh, beautiful. See you, buddy. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Small 80, big 80, mid 90, dollary next. Oh, he completely flung the placky off that one. So you can see he's kinked and frayed it there. So we'll trim that, put a new placky on, and uh, get back to casting. So good. All re rigged, fresh. Little mollocks there. Tried a lot of lures in here and this one just seems to produce. So don't fix what's not broke, so they say. Dip the tail a little bit in some extra dip and glow. Add a little bit of Berkeley gulp slime and we are good to kick it in the guts again. Okay, beautiful. All glowed and centered up. Let's get back into it. Oh, yes. Another good one. Oh, another solid fish. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, man. I was not expecting that. I've been moving around and around and around because I've just got no bites, no hits, no nothing. And then whack! Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> ah, the solid, solid fish. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he's in the 90s too. I don't think he's quite as big as that other big dog, but he's definitely, definitely a good fish. Oof. Oh, how good is this? Hey, winter time, windy. Just getting it done. Good fish too. that. He definitely wanted that. Lure is gone. Hooks are down the gob. He was hungry. Come buddy. In you come. Yes! Number four baby. Oh look at the tail on this guy. Look that orangey brown. It's a solid, solid fish, super healthy. So cool. Okay, let's get him off. Quick shot, and then we'll, uh, yeah, try and get another one. Okay. Definitely, definitely in the 90s, this one. Oh, yeah. Another solid, 
college fish. Oh, that is so cool. I don't know why, but I always think these fish are a bit smaller than they actually are. Look at that. Look at that. Straight down the gob. Nowhere to be seen. He wanted that. Look at that. Epic, epic fish. Okay, let's get these hooks out, get a quick shot. Well guys, there it is. Afternoon sunlight on another quality, quality barra. This one's just shy of 90. Not as long as the other one, but uh, I think it's deeper in the body because this thing is just mammoth. He's got a solid, solid fish, eh? So, that is so cool. So cool. Okay, we'll let this guy go. See if we can get one more, make it five. Ah. Oh. Okay, big oss. See you out of there. See you later. Okay, see if we can get one more. Well guys, that's it for a day. The sun is setting just behind me here and I'm going to pack the boat up and head back before it gets too dark to see because there is a lot of trees to dodge in this place and uh, I want to make it back in one piece, both me and the boat. So we're going to call the pin there and uh, waddle our way back home and we'll catch up with you guys when we're back home because I've got some news for you and uh, it's real good so stay tuned we'll tell you what's going on when we get home well guys it's the uh, couple of days after now and it is blowing a gale outside so we're hiding in the shed you can probably hear that it's the best part of 30 knots but anyway here's the good news me and Tao by the time you're watching this are getting hitched so we're getting married the wedding's uh locked in has been for a couple of years now and the big day is finally approaching and uh then we're gonna bugger off on a couple of week road trip with Belle just have some downtime so uh probably by the time you see this we will be married we might even be back from our road trip and uh yeah so that's what's happening uh we're gonna have a bit of downtime off the socials off the videos and uh yeah hopefully we don't get punished too bad for it but here's what it is family first and uh, yeah, so that's the good news. Exciting times ahead. And uh, next time you see us on a vlog, it'll uh, be Mr. and Mrs. Horn with little, little Bella. So pretty pumped uh, and uh, yeah, super excited. So that's the good news, guys. Uh, if there is some photos, I'll drop some photos in there. And uh, as always, stay safe, be happy, and uh, we'll see you on the next little round. Cheers.